Saturday, April 26, 2014. This is Mercedes Diesel Guy, and this is my 1998 Volvo V70. I've had a new throttle cable now for months, but I haven't had uh, convenient time or weather to install it. And uh, at least I have a uh, little block of time today, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So here it is. It's an official Volvo part. And for anybody interested, here's some part numbers. It says on here 9157601. And it also says that here on this label. Now, it's my understanding that there's a different uh, throttle control cable for a car with a manual transmission and an automatic. This car is an automatic. Um, pretty sure I ordered this correctly, and uh, let's hope I'm right on that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the hood and I'll show you how to disconnect the throttle cable under the hood. So here we are under the hood and here is the old throttle cable and you can see the uh, housing is not in the greatest shape there. So in order to access it I'm going to have to take this cover off right here and it looks like a T25 bit to do that. So I'm going to get this cover off here and I'll show you what to do next. Next, uh, you're going to want to disconnect the cable from this wheel right here. And I find the easiest way to do that, uh, well, it's the only way I've tried so far, is uh, just rotate this a little bit by hand and pull the cable straight out. So, not really a big deal to that. Next, we're going to disconnect the cable from this bracket right here. Okay, so we're going to pull this clip right here. It's not that difficult. And now we have the throttle cable disconnected on the engine side. Next I'm going to go inside the car and disconnect this from the accelerator pedal. Okay, so I'm in the car and here's the accelerator pedal. Unfortunately I won't be able to show you this part of it because there's just no space to work in here and get the camera in here and uh, hold the flashlight. I mean, I myself am having a very hard time working in here, but uh, basically to get to the cable, you need to kind of go all the way to the top of the uh, pedal right here, and I still don't think you're going to be able to see it with the way I'm pointing the camera, but it's kind of way up there. Uh, you should be able to find it, and once I have it disconnected, I'll do, my, I'll do my best to describe how to disconnect the cable from this end. Now that the cable's through the firewall, we're going to go into the car and reconnect it to the pedal. Now that the cable's through the firewall, we're going to go into the car and reconnect it to the pedal. Once again, this is not something I'll be able to show you. There's just no room in here, but uh, uh, you see the cable hanging down right here. Uh, now I've got to feed this through the uh, appropriate hole on the accelerator pedal up top there, and then I'll reinstall the clip. It looks like I just barely found the right angle to show you. If you look right where my light is shining, you'll see a hole uh, right there through the top of the accelerator pedal with a rubber grommet, and you'll see the cable hanging through it. So now I just have to um, pull the cable down, reinstall that white clip. Wasn't able to show you, but now you can see the, uh, the cable's back in place with the clip. So I'm going to go back to the engine compartment right now. Now the next thing I have to do is reconnect this cable right here, which uh, once again, not the easiest thing to do with one hand, but let's see if I can get this reconnected. Okay, now the cable's in place, the, uh, the electrical cable that is, so now I just need to reinstall the throttle cable to the engine. Okay, so this is the opposite of what I did before. So, I'm going to feed the cable through here. And then I have to reinstall the clip. So I can press this on by hand. What do you know? No problem. Now the final step should be reconnecting this cable to the wheel here. So, I'm just going to... 
and that should take care of it. All I have to do is put this cover plate back on right now, and I'm done. So, uh, although it's not the easiest thing in the world to work above that accelerator pedal, this is really not that bad a job. And like I said, the reason I replaced this is because the old cable was kind of sticky and it did jam once, which is a dangerous situation. So, this is Mercedes Diesel Guy. Thanks for watching.